Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at perhaps the most famous leak code problem, reverse a linked list. Given the head of a linked list, reverse it and return back the reversed list. So if we're given one, two, three, four, five, we must reverse this to five, four, three, two, one and return back the node five. So to start off this problem, I'm gonna have two pointers. One is my previous pointer pointing to the previous node that we visited. And the one that points to the current node is called PTR, just pointer. And what we're going to do is we're going to change pointer.next to previous at every single iteration in the linked list. And let's see how that looks. So I'm going to process node one and I'm going to say pointer.next is equal to previous because that's what it means to reverse a list, right? Whatever is your next pointer is now going to be your previous pointer. And so we're going to update that to null in this case. And we're going to move previous to the current pointer and we're going to move pointer to the next node. In this case, it's two. Now we're going to process node two. Once again, in order to reverse the list, we're going to say pointer.next is equal to previous. Instead of two pointing to three, two is now going to point to one. Now I move previous to pointer and I move pointer along to the next node, which is node three. Now we process node three and we're going to say pointer.next is equal to previous. So three shouldn't point to four, it should point to two. Now we move previous to pointer. We move pointer to the next node, which is node four. And we do the same thing over again. So we're going to need to update pointer.next to previous. So we move that from five to three. We move previous to pointer. And then we move pointer to the next node, in this case, the final node, which is node five. Now let's do the same exact thing. So we process node five. The next pointer is equal to previous. And we move previous to the current node. And then we move pointer along to pointer.next, which in this case is null. Pointer is null, right? And so now we finished up the algorithm. And there's actually one thing I want you guys to notice is that prev is now pointing at the head, the new head, right? Which is node five. So at the end of our algorithm, we're gonna return the previous uh, pointer. And this algorithm runs in O of N time since we iterated through the entire list once and constant space because we only have two pointer variables that we keep track of. Let's start out the coding implementation. We have two pointers to keep track of. Previous is initialized to null and pointer is equal to head. Now, while pointer is not null, we need to process this node. The first thing I'm going to do is initialize a temporary variable, which captures pointer.next. The reason why I need this is because we're about to override the pointer.next value. And so we need to somehow move along to the next pointer without losing that reference. So I'm going to store it in a temporary variable. Now I override the pointer.next variable to prev. So I point pointer.next to previous. My previous becomes my current pointer, and my pointer has to go to the next node, which in this case is temp. And that's that's all. That's the algorithm. We just return previous here because that's the, the new head, the final node, and we run this. And it succeeds. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more leak code animated solutions, especially for the blind 75 list, be sure to subscribe and like the video down below. It truly means a lot. I'll see you in the next one.